हेलो गुड नून टू ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट रिप्रोडक्शन ऑफ बेट्रिकोस्पर्मम इन बेट्रिकोस्पर्मम उगेमस टाइप ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन व्हाट इज उगेमस टाइप ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन इन उगेमस टाइप ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन्स इज अ स्मॉल इन साइज कंपेयर टू देयर फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन्स एंड फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन्स इज द नॉन मोटाइल एंड मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन्स इज द मोटाइल एंड दिस टाइप ऑफ सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इज नोन एज उगेमस टाइप रिप्रोडक्शन इन बेट्रिकोस्पर्मम दिस सेम स्ट्रक्चर the spermatangia you can see the spermatangia is the smallest size compared to carpogonia so and there carpogonia structure the carpogonium structure is the non motile and the spermatangia structure is the motile so it is no uh, so this type of reproduction is known as the oogamous type of sexual reproduction okay we are discussed about in our previous lecture what is spermatangium and what is carpogonium spermatangium is the male reproductive organs and carpogonium is the female reproductive organs and their fertilization the spermatia after their liberation from the spermatangia Uh, are carried passively by the water current to the uh, to the trichogyne of the carpogonium when the spermatium come into the contact with the trichogyne the wall between a trichogyne and the spermatium dissolve at a point of this contact and the male and female nuclei fuse to basal portion of the diploid zygote and after carpogonium are uh, carpogonium of from fertili fertilization the trichogyne swelled okay you can see in this figure this is the structure of carpogon uh, carpogonium and this is the spermatia the spermatia are liberated uh, from the spermatangium the spermatia are liberated from the spermatangium they are uh, attached with the structure of the trichogyne and their trichogyne and the spermatia wall is dissolved so the uh, a female uh, female nuclei are fused with the male uh, the male nuclei are fused with the female nuclei and they are convert into the zygote and they are this process is known as the fertilization this is the carpogonium they are the uh, spermatangium and uh, spermatangium are fused together and they are convert into the zygote they are the known as fertilization process okay then uh post fertilization change after uh, fertilization one type of change in this algae so they are known as the post fertilization change after fertilization the diploid nuclei of the zygote are divided meiotically in the result into the four haploid cell and this nuclei divide into the mitotically and from a many daughter nuclei after fertilization one type of zygote nuclei zygote nuclei is now diploid nuclei because of they are fused together male and female and they are converted into the zygote and their zygote nuclei is now is a diploid and the zygote uh, nuclei is uh, first divided by meiotically means they are the convert into the four uh, daughter nuclei they are convert into the four do, uh, daughter nuclei but their process is the meiotic process so they are convert into the further n cell so they are convert into the four daughter nuclei uh, meiotic division by the meiotic division and they are further can uh, further divide into the mitotically and they are further divide into the mitotically okay and this stage many outgrowth arise from the basal part of the carpogonium and haploid Uh, daughter nuclei passed into uh, passed into each outgrowth and this outgrowth with uh, uh, this outgrowth with haploid nuclei are called gonioblast initial and repeated the transverse division of gonioblast filament give rise a number of the small unbranch and branch gonioblast filament and the terminal cell of this filament is uh, function as a carposporangium okay after uh, meiosis process first is the meiosis process and they are the mitosis process uh, some cells are uh, some cells are uh, 
together and they are the known as gonioblast and the gonioblast is further divided into the one filament like structure and this is the known as gonioblast initial this is the known as gonioblast initial and after some of this division these are the the gonioblast structure gonioblast initial is convert into the gonioblast filament they are the gonioblast filament and their gonioblast filament terminal cell below cell they are convert into the and they are known as the carposporangium first the zygote it is the sexual reproduction the zygote formation and their zygote formation is the divided by a meiotically and there some meiotical and they and their known as the daughter nuclei and the daughter nuclei is further divided by a mitotically so their uh, so their this cell is further divided into one filament like structure and they are the known as a gonioblast filament and their gonioblast filament are further divided into the gonioblast uh, gonioblast initial and their gonioblast initial is further divided into the gonioblast filament and their gonioblast filament terminal cell is the known as carposporangia you can see this is structure is the carposporangia and this is the one type of the change after fertilization so it is known as the fertil uh, post fertilization change okay the single carpopore is uh, carpospore is formed in each carposporangium the lower sterile cell of the gonioblast filament give a rise of many sterile filament which form a envelope on a, around the carpospore and the gonioblast filament this composite structure of the carpospore and gonioblast filament uh, along with sterile filament is known as a sterile filament is known as a cytocarp sketocarp and carposporophyte and uh, carpospore is liber uh, liberated by the rupture of the wall of the mature carposporangium okay after the gonioblast filament they are convert into the carposporangia and the carposporangia wall the this is this this structure is the wall of carposporangia and they are break and some some carpospore are liberate from this structure okay and their germination of carpospore carpospore get a themselves attached to the substratum uh, substratum and on the germination each carpospore from a protonema like structure and which is eventually give a rise a heterotical system and this represented a jewelline stage of baticospermum they are known as a catherensia stage okay and their carpospore is the germinate to the uh, one protonema like structure means their cell is the further divide into the heterotical system it means they are a further divide into the erect system and prostate system and their jewelline stage means uh, means their young stage is known as the catherensia stage you can see in this figure uh, the carpospore carpospore are developed from the after uh, 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 post fertilization post fertilization change the carpospore the carpospore are further germinate into some heterotical in in some heterotical system they are the prostate system and they are the erect system this is known as the heterotical system and they are the this stage is the jewelline stage means they are the young stage of the batricospermum and this stage is known as the catherensia stage okay catherensia stage is the important for a one mark or a two marks question okay this is known as catherensia stage and previous catherensia was supposed to be an independent algae genus but now it has been established that all species of catherensia represent a phase in life cycle of batricospermum the catherensia uh, phase can reproduce itself okay this is the catherensia stage they are the also known as the jewel line stage of batricospermum and they are the germinate from uh, from carposporangia carpospore then asexual reproduction
reproduction take place by means of uninucleated haploid and monospore these spore are formed into the catherensia stage after catherensia stage some spore are developed this is known as the monospore the monospore develop from the erect branches of the catherensia stage of petrichospermum and this monosporangium develop into a single monospore and each monospore again germinate heterotichous uh, heterotichous protonema is called catherensia stage into the erect branch of this heterotichous jewel line stage give a rise to uh, give a rise to adult stage okay you can see in this figure this is the uh, some branch and some their branch some spore like structure develop and their spore is further germinate into uh, their spore is further germinate into the whole plant body and they are known as the asexual reproduction asexual reproduction by the monospore okay and then alternation of generation okay what means alternation of generation their life cycle is known as alternation of generation the Uh, the thallus of petrichospermum is a haploid gametophyte it produces a male and female gametes which fuse together in the uh, in the form of diploid zygote this is the asexual reproduction then zygote undergoes the meiosis and haploid cell develop into the carpos uh, carposporophyte and the carposporophyte contain gonioblast carpospore germinate into the catherensia stage and it is uh, and it is also haploid filament carposporangia and the and the life cycle of petrichospermum shows the alternation of generation and the haploid phase is the dominant and the diploid phase is the represented by zygote so the life cycle is the haplobiotic life cycle the haploid phase is the dominant because of the their structure is the haploid and their gametes is the also haploid uh, and their spore is haploid and their monospore is also haploid but uh, so their haploid uh, in their life cycle haploid phase is dominant phase but diploid phase is represent only by zygote and so then so their life cycle is known as the haplobiotic life cycle and haploid phase is the triphasic trigenic means haploid phase is uh, uh, three times develop in their life cycle so their haploid gametophyte haploid carposporophyte and haploid catherensia uh, stage hence their life cycle hence their life cycle is known as haplo haplo haplontic life cycle so the life cycle is haplo haplo haplontic life cycle and they are also haplobiotic life cycle okay thank you thank you so much like and share this video